You're watching Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Backyard Tech, it's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, continuing with our, I don't know what you want to call it, fault finding or instrument cluster status light problems that we've got going on. But what I am thinking of doing here guys is moving some of the LEDs about and seeing then if things actually work so like take this light from here and put it into one of these then take one of these lights and uh, put it into here and then see whether or not we can get her going and whether or not it will work so what I'm going to do here take that one out what's that one that's high beam I know high beam works, I know that globe is still good, so I'm actually going to put it into there and take this one here and try, I don't know if it's going to work but we'll give it a shot, I'll try and fit it in, if I can get it to go in, somehow, okay, that's in. About as in as it's going to get anyway. Terminals are on the copper. So, what's that one there? That's the ABS light. I think I've, I've seem to have misplaced a globe somewhere, guys. Um, I should have globe for the ABS light. What have I done with it? Um, hang on a minute. Alright, so what I've done is over these two, which are two that I actually need, you can see I've put a bit of tape over them to hold them. These white ones are not right. So what I'm going to do now is quickly just connect it up, see if I get them back on, and then if they come up, that's good. If they don't, I've got a problem somewhere else in the board. But I know I've got continuity to it, so if these don't come up, and these globes here are good globes, these three here are all good globes. If, it, if they don't come up, then I know I've either got, I've still got a problem in the transfer case, or there's something else not right. So. Let me get on and crack on with that, and then I'll come back. Right. No lights at all. No status lights, no nothing. You know what my fear is here, guys, is that this is stuffed. Which, imme which immediately means I've got to get into a whole new, just this back bit, right? I don't have to get everything else, I've just got to get the back bit. Uh, oh, there goes the camera. It's true. Oops. Um, I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> Very concerned here, guys. All right, bear with us. Actually, I'll show you how I got these ones in and how I made them stick properly. My tape theory didn't work. I don't advise anyone actually trying this because you could end up like I have. But it does, you can push them down and get them to grab. Almost get them to grab. Hang on. There we go. Alright, so I found globes that I were concerned I was missing. So now what I've got to do, 
I guess, is try and fit the thing back in and see if lights come up. So let me try that again and we'll be back. Okay, now I've got one light running. If I bring all this up, make sure I turn that off. So I've now got the diff lock light. You can see there, diff lock light is running. The problem I've got is no low range. You see, I've got ATP, but no low, no low range properly. Oy vey. Okay, uh, but at the same time, I've now lost my high beam light. I can't win. But I do have ATF oil, but I don't have check engine. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay guys, well I've put the cluster back in. I've got center diff lock light now running, but other gauges, other lights now aren't working, like the AT park isn't working, the high beam's not working, the hazards aren't working, at least the hazard indicator, the hazards do, but the indicator doesn't work anymore. I think I'm up for a new cluster, guys. And so, once this is all put back together, we'll come back. All right. So, what we'll do is pull all this back together. I'll try and tighten these up a bit more. I don't want the cluster moving around, but... Essentially, it looks like I'm going to have to get, if not a whole new cluster, at least the rear electronics side of it, so that I can put all my gauges into it. And then at least then I've got um, a working cluster. Right, now I'm going to get all this put back in. As the lights, I've got to be reconnected and so does the clock. Now the clock's going to have to be reset, I know that. Where's that back in? Clock plugged back in too. That's always fun. Let's try and get the clock pl clock plugged back in. What's going on here? Hang on. Right. And that should just. Alright, there's the clock. There's hazards. Okay. I'm not worried about the high beam indicator because I'll be able to tell if I've got the high beams on. Right, clock's time's wrong. I'll have to fix that up. Get out of it. No, that's not right either. Why won't you go back in? There it goes. Okay. I do need to find the screws for this. I don't know what I've done with them. I've got no idea. I'll have to find them sooner or later. Essentially, it is a new, a new cluster, unfortunately. And they're not cheap either, guys. I've got to be honest with you. They are not cheap. They're actually, surprisingly, they're actually quite expensive for a, uh, for a cluster. Stupid thing is, I really only need the electronics of it. I don't actually need the rest of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to plug all this back up. I'm going to plug back up. And 
There we go. So I need. Oops. Dimmer. Electric mirrors. Lock. Uh, so there's center. Except now it won't go back in. <laughs> uh, there's center. You know what? I'm actually going to do something here, guys. I think no, I'm not. I can't because of the way they're wired. Damn it. I was going to try and be clever, but I can't. Actually, if you ask most people, I'm not clever at all. <laughs> all right. So now I need to plug up. I need to re-plug up the sub tank. And cigarette lighter. I'm not worrying about the cigarette lighter globe because I know the globe's buggered. So it doesn't really matter. I've got the keys stuck in there. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, that's massively problematic, isn't it? There we go. Oy, right. Now I've got to try and get... Oh. Hang on, I've got to get this to fit back in properly, don't I? Damn it. I'm gonna get the damn thing out of fit back in properly. There's one side in. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna get this all put back together. Which is not. A lot of people say, oh, this sort of stuff's easy, but in actual fact, it's not. It, it isn't always that easy. Sometimes it can be a real fiddly nightmare to get it all plugged back up or all at least positioned in the right spot without jamming everything in or breaking anything as I've done in the past. There we go. No, not really. We're not in properly. Uh, you know you're in properly when you've got the ignition barrel uh, in the right spot. So, considering I'm going to have to pull this all out again at some stage. That's not in properly, why not? There it goes. Sort of. Alright, now what I need to do is... I need to bring that out that way. Get in there. There it goes. Okay. Alright, now let's make sure all is good. That's all good. Let's just check that the transmission's working properly. You guys aren't going to be able to see that, are you? I've got the steering wheel back in the right spot, so we are up for at least a new cluster. Because now my check engine light's not working. Uh, I don't think I've got high beam, no. I do have cluster lights, so that's all right, I think. Yep, yeah, I've got cluster lights. No high beam and no check engine light. Jeez, I've got a real problem here, haven't I? Anyway, all right, guys, so we know we're up for a new cluster, um, or at least a new electronics part of the cluster, because there are just some things that don't work anymore, and even with globes in them, they're not actually working. So there we go. All right, well, we'll leave it at that. Um, power light works, that works, 
Centre diff lock now works, which is good. Uh, I suppose I better check I've got everything else working. Fan, that's good. Okay, there we go. It's a fair bit of electrical work to take place, guys, let me tell you. But anyway, that's it for weekend Saturdays today, guys, because the other half's due home shortly and we've got things to do inside. So we'll probably look at getting onto the Acer uh, tomorrow, maybe. Anyway, have a good one.